Hello everyone. How are we doing? I'm doing pretty well. Ooh, let me change that back to kind of where it was. Great. That feels better to me. My computer must have gotten knocked about. Hello. Um, it's great to be here. I We are back with more Pokemon Platinum. I probably won't be able to fit another stream in this week, so I was really happy to be able to come to you all here on a Wednesday evening here. It just turned night on our screen, as you can see. Um, we are still standing right here next to our best girl, Jasmine. We love her very much. Um, and we are probably going to be training up the squad quite a bit today. Now, I need Waterfall at the end of this here route. Um, but we are going to go ahead and um, just defeat the trainers here because we are on our way to Victory Road. We are on the road to Victory Road. Um, I'll give us a little team recap here because we're actually at a pretty big point in the game. Um, we got our friend Hot to go rocking that one non-HM move. That will change eventually. Um, we have Pikachu, the Vaporeon, of course. We have Karen, the Houndoom. Autumn, the, excuse me, Autumn, the Torterra. Breakfast, the Togekiss. And Static, the Magnezone. Rocking that all-powerful Flash Cannon. Um, all right, so... Um, the other thing that I just wanted to show, and we showed this off a little bit last episode, if you look at my bottom screen, uh, my badges are not shiny again. Um, but we have all eight badges of Sinnoh, and I'm just shaking, <laughs> shaking the webcam. <laughs> um, but, uh... Oh, I'm just getting them to respectability. If our boy Brody ever shows up, I'll, I'll, I'll make him sparkle. Um, but, um, yes, we got all eight badges of Sinnoh here. Um, do I remember what they're all called? We have the Coal Badge, the Forest Badge, the Cobble Badge, the Fen Badge, the Relic Badge, the Mine Badge, the Icicle Badge, and the Beacon Badge. Yep, I got them all. Um... Okay. So, <laughs> I have two different open cans right now. Um, let's see. So we are gonna make our way here. We, I think we kind of have a lot of grinding to do um, before we make it to the Pokemon League and oh no. It looks like we are a little bit under leveled. Oh, we haven't really seen this. Sometimes this happens. Um, let me just go here. There we go. Um, so that was a level 44 Tentacruel. So we are a little bit under leveled for the wild Pokemon, which means our repels will not mean nearly as much, but that's okay. We're gonna get trained up. Here's Luminion. We haven't seen a Luminion yet. This is the evolved form of, whatchamacallit, um, Finneon, excuse me. And it's pretty cool. I like kind of like the butterfly wing fin pattern there. I was about to say that had to be a crit, especially a one shot, awesome. Um, and our gal hot to go is going to be essentially immune to water type Pokemon because of that dry skin ability. As we saw in the fight against um, Notberg against um, Crasher Wake. Um, there is not a lot of water in Sinnoh. Kind of famously, there is a lot of water in the generation before, in Generation 3, which we played in Emerald. Um, and there is a lot of water. You're doing diving, you're doing a lot of extra stuff there. Um, so I think in this game, perhaps there was a little bit of a emphasis on not, I was about to say, another one hit crit um, knockout. We'll just go here. Ah, okay, so we're just gonna swap back. I was about to say, hopefully not catch Eon. It did a lot of damage though, that stab takedown. Um, Azumarill. Um, we'll swap. 
about to say I don't know to what, but how to go. Um, but yeah, I think there might have been a little bit of an, a, a thought going into that. Then again, they were really just basing this um, game off of a, just another region in Japan. The first four games, this is a little fun fact, the first four Pokemon games, all of the regions are based on different regions in Japan. Um, it isn't until later that they kind of start to branch out into other parts of the world. And there is the TM for Rain Dance, by the way. Da -da -do, da -da -da -do. You gotta sneak down that little corridor. Um, all right. There's a couple different areas we can go here. All right, I'm hoping we can survive one water pulse. Yes, but we're confused. Don't die. Thank you. Yeah, I just wanted to give Karen that one level there. I know this isn't going to be the best spot for us to train her, seeing as there's all these water Pokemon about. There we go. Vaporeon's doing nicely. A Mantine. Um, I'm going to swap train, actually. Happy Wednesday. Hello, Loctess. How are you? Good to see you. Um, I, I had a pretty decent day today. Um, work was not as stressful as it has been lately, which is nice. I would never count on that remaining the case. <laughs> but it went well today. Hmm. Wants to learn Aqua Ring. Aqua Ring I don't find particularly... Ooh, yes. Give up on Aqua Ring. I don't find that particularly valuable. Um, Pikachu's moveset might be pretty much set. Because we've got that big main stab move. We've got a really strong coverage move with Blizzard. Um, we have another decent coverage move with Bite. And then that always useful quick attack. Um, oh yes, very ready for Thanksgiving break. Oh my gosh, level 50 and I can't escape. Alright, so Karen's dead. No, thank you. My gosh. I did not realize the wild Pokemon in this water was were so strong. Alright, let's just do a double battle here. Um, I'll do the autumn breakfast combo. Uh, because we can always use that Earthquake to our advantage. Um, yes, yeah, so Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving will be really interesting. Um, excuse me. Um, I talk all the time about working in a school. One of the benefits of working in a school is getting time off during holidays. Ooh, we got that Omni Boost for breakfast. Love to see it. Um, love getting the time off for holidays. So next week I will have three days off. Um, during the week, in addition to, you know, the weekend that follows. So that would be excellent. Um, we'll get to have some nice family time. Ooh, okay. I was worried about an ice beam from that octillery, so we're still doing all right. Um, oh, let's just use return on the gold duck. All right, this should take out both of them. Oh, it missed. LOL. There we go. Ooh, here's crunch for breakfast. Kind of the moment of truth here. I uh, I can't decide if I want to keep Leech Seed or Mega Drain. Oh no. I really like to have the special coverage with Mega Drain. But Leech Seed's kind of better for the whole school. Hmm. Let's see. Hold on. This might be my kicker here. Um. Okay. So I've decided. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of Mega Drain because... Um, there is a TM for Giga Drain if I want to um, get that kind of move back into my moveset. 
Um, oh yeah, that's interesting. I was about to use Mega Drain, and then I got rid of Mega Drain. So then I used Crunch, but then there was nothing, so I missed. How funny. Um, I'm gonna get Pikachu in here just to get some spread the love on the experience. Ah, uh, let's see, Lock Test, are you doing anything for Thanksgiving? Oh yes, the Omnibus once again. Perfect. Um, we're actually gonna fly back real quick. So I can train Karen up. Um, oh, you're gonna be over at your brother's making homemade mashed potatoes. Mmm, 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 let's go, that's gonna be awesome. Um, I don't really think we're gonna have to do much cooking. Uh, cause we're gonna, we're gonna end up going to my parents' house and my wife's parents' house. We're spending a lot of family time. Um, yeah, my speed up button is not always the best in this game. All right. This is really the only big, like, surfing route in the entire game. I mean, there's other places where you can surf. We've done it before, obviously. Um, but this is the big one. Um, it will be busy. That is the one thing about the holidays that I don't love. Even though I do have them all off from school for the most part. There's just a lot to it, man. Um, okay, this tentacruel can be tough. I'm gonna try to flinch it. Um, it doesn't have very good regular defense. It has very good special defense. Ooh, I'm realizing that it raises its defense. Smart move. Um, let's see. I'm going to try to flinch it again. Oh, nice crit goes right through the barrier. Let's go, Karen. Training Karen against water Pokemon is not the easiest, but here I am trying. Um, and yeah, having all that time off, just really having to monopol- uh, just not monopolize, what's the word I'm looking for? Prioritize, that's it. Our time, so we make sure that we are spending the time with our families that we need to be spending. Um, excuse me. Karen should also learn um, Crunch here before too long. I really like that Bite can flinch, so I'll probably actually... Mm, We'll see. You see, there are these dark moves. You have Bite. It's not that strong, but it can cause a flinch, which is really good. Um, you have Faint Attack, which is not that strong, but it can never miss, which is also really good. And then you have Crunch, which is like one of the most powerful dark type attacks. It's a real, it's a real yin-yang, you know? And then, of course, considering the fact that Karen has better special attack than regular attack. What do you even do, man? We will pick up a TM for a new move that could be very, very helpful for our friend Karen. Um, all right. Okay, we need some of this flinch luck. Because this Pelipper is just going to kind of try to stall us out. There we go. Uh, running out of bites. I'll probably end up getting rid of Faint Attack for Crunch. Um, yes. Breakfast is the way to go. We will hopefully, we will end up getting rid of Fly on Breakfast um, at some point for the Pokemon League, or we'll keep it. Who knows, man? I'm just a... Uh, I'm just a rascal. You never know what I'm going to do. Autumn would be the play here. Yeah, I'll just use Autumn. Sometimes you just want to use the right matchup, even if you're trying to spread the experience, just because that makes a Gastrodon so much easier to take out. Um, all right. Ultra Ball, easy peasy. I don't remember if this is the way I need to go. I think it is, actually. So, hold on. I want to fight that guy down there. Make sure I explore all the nooks and crannies. 
Have I fought that guy down there already? I have not. Lovely. Just a lot of fishy people here. Once Karen gets to 44, I can I can stop pretending like it's gonna it's like it's a good idea to train her against these water types. Um Breakfast will probably be our play here. I can use return against this tentacruel. I hate water pulse because it can confuse us, but thankfully we survive. <laughs> All right. Um, it is funny because this is part of Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum that I don't actually love, <laughs> which is funny. Oh, hold on. Let me... Um, yeah, I don't actually really love this part of the game. It just feels a little bit tedious, but you want to fight all the trainers because you really need you really need this experience. Um, and there we go. Perfect. We eat that 10 times out of 10. Um, you really need this experience, and it's right after you get the last gym badge, so you're kind of just like riding high. Uh, we don't want to learn Embargo. Perfect. Um, so you're kind of riding high. You want to get to the last little bit of the game here. Ooh, nice dive ball. Ooh, excuse me. Even though in Pokemon Platinum you don't have dive like we did in Pokemon Emerald, but then you gain rock climb, which we did not have in Pokemon Emerald, obviously. Do, 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 do. Ooh, let's get this uh, repeat poison jab critical hit one shot. Not quite. But that's alright. We're not too worried about a safeguard from Illuminion whatsoever. Um, I'll just go into breakfast here. Because static is just going to remain so useful, it's insane. Um, one more of those should do the trick. Lovely. I do hate how Ancient Power only has five experience, uh, power points. Let's get this going. I can probably find some other items. Um, okay. So I think this is going to be our last our last fella here. And then we're going to need Waterfall. All right. Um, this is fine. I'll just go into Static. Ooh, Dragon Dance. That's scary. Don't have Earthquake. Okay, great. Boom, baby. That uh, Rain Dance actually would have been great to use Thunder with. Kaploosh, she says. Um, and here, of course, is our waterfall. Ooh, it says Pokemon League. Um, a wall of water is crashing down with a mighty roar. We cannot traverse it, however. Yeah, I just wanted to have our whole squad available. Let me pop over here to begin. Excuse me. So... We are going to need a Pokemon that can learn Waterfall. Our friend Gilbert the Barrel should be that guy. Um, pretty sure Barrel. Oopsie. Um, pretty sure Barrel can learn Waterfall. Okay, we have one more slot. Um, let's just tap out Magnezone for now. Um, all right. Ooh. I love the bag changing noise. Ah. It reminds me of the snow noise. Yeah, it's just satisfying. Anyway, uh, we got waterfall here. 
We got it from our good friend Jasmine. Okay, good. Gilbert can learn it. I guess Vaporeon could learn it in a pinch, but I don't want to teach it to Pikachu. Um, but Barrel is our resident HM friend, and that is great. We love that for them. Oh, yeah. Because something I don't know if I've really pointed out. Um, Bidoof is obviously a normal type. It evolves into a normal water type um, Babarel, um, which is actually a really nice little piece of utility um, for a Pokemon that you want to learn HMs primarily. Um, so that's really nice. Oh, but guys, here's something we gotta do. We gotta sit by both fountains. Fountain number one. Oh. And fountain number two. Ah. Oh. Sometimes, guys. It just really puts me at ease. Thank you for that. Um, okay. So we're going to... Do this. I am looking for a spot here. Because I did a little bit of Googling. And there is a spot here, um, uh, whatchamacallit, east of Heart Home City, where we can get the TM for Giga Drain. Sorry, my brain was not working. But where, I ask you? I already used my repel, so I'm just wasting all this repel. Um, no? Oh, I'm gonna have to actually look this up, aren't I? Unless I already have it. I think it's TM19. Nope, I do not have Giga Drain. Oh, we have so many good TMs. I've really just been kind of stockpiling them until we get to the end. Um, so we're going to have some absolute fire movesets here. Um, where the heck, man? Ugh. Gosh dang it, guys. Yeah, I'm like not even going to try to progress here. Um, Oh, do I have to go through there? That might be possible. Because I can see. Yes, there it is. I see. I see now. Hold on, let me pop my repel here. Yes, so if you are looking for the Giga Drain TM here in Pokemon, on platinum you gotta sneak down this little side area east of heart home city and you'll find giga drain back there on that uh, little piece of land and i did not have to look that up on the internet all right do, 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 do. cerebi is one of the greatest things ever created um Um, I'm actually gonna do this too. Um, we're gonna pop down towards Sand Gem Town um, because I want to train the squad a little bit more before we try to go to Victory Road. Um, and while I do that, let me go into the Pokemon Center. I'm gonna deposit Gilbert for now, actually. And then we will withdraw. Our friend, Static. Thank you. 
Um, I could use Giratina. Excuse me. I'm going to try not to. I want to keep our normal squad here. Um, ooh. Here on the beach near Sand Gem, there's got to be an item up here somewhere, right? Well, I guess not. So, this is an area that we have not yet gone to because you need Surf to get it. And I love this area because it is, you know, just south of Sand Gem Town, one of the earliest areas you can go to. And once you get Surf, there is this cool little route where there's like a ton of trainers and it will actu actually take us to an interesting area that I'm excited to show you. Um, okay. Um, I'll just do that. That's fine by me. Um, in later generations, um, Clefairy actually gets... There we go. Not Clefairy. Not Clefairy. Meryl actually gets another type. Um, and one that Poison would actually be good against. Let's see. Oh, Mud Bomb. That's not great, but we're fine. And we got the dry skin, baby. We're good to go. Um, as you can see, the levels are a little bit lower here. Um, they are not where we were previously because... The levels are curved for this route, implying that you're going to go do it, like, immediately after you get the Surf HM. Um, so we're going to make our way down here, and I'm just going to get hot to go and others just really ready. Oh, and I can just one-shot these Goldeens all day. Um, I'm very excited for this week to be over. Um, tomorrow's Thursday, which thrills me greatly. Um, because I, like I said, I have Thanksgiving break, which is completely incredible. And next week, there's only two days. Oh, okay, special attack. That is fine. And we're living. All right. Max Repel, make sure I use that. I always... I say this all the time, but I always like to buy Super Repels because I think it is the best step-to-cost ratio in terms of Repels. Ooh, the Splash Plate! There's a text engraved on the back of the obtained plate. Two make matter, and three make spirit, shaping the world. As we know, that's of course talking about Dialga and Palkia, and then the three that make spirit are the lake Pokemon, Azelf, Uxi, and Mesprit. Very cool. So these little plates, um, we could, in theory, put this on Vaporeon if we wanted to. And these little plates are scattered about the region, kind of spreading a little bit of its lore. Um, Sinnoh really is like the region of lore, um, which I love very, very much. Um, and... Yeah, that's all I'm going to say. Ooh, wow. So yeah, Bite's not doing a ton. I mean, like I said, it is nice just to have something else um, on Vaporeon. Oh, Bullet Seed on Octillery. Got super effective Bullet Seed. Get a flinch. No, not quite. And there's the Quick Attack. Lovely. Things a little bit more slow going for Pikachu, the Vaporeon. We do still have all of our rare candies. I'm not entirely sure how many we have accrued throughout our playthrough here. We have nine, which is pretty good. Um, so we will use them kind of toward the end of the... Um, like once we get to the Pokemon League. Um, because like I say, I always like to use them when it takes more experience to level up. Um, who needs to be faster? Probably Karen. Because Karen, I feel... Karen's speed has left a little bit to be desired, if I'm going to be honest. Um, and that we don't really have many Pokemon using the attack stat. We'll go with Hot to Go. Do, 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 do. 
perfect. Pelipper. This could take our entire lives. We'll see. Oh boy. Ah, yes, I remember we were using Houndoom with the bite strategy. Oh, come on, man. There we go. Gastrodon. All right, get Vaporeon out of here. I'm done training Vaporeon in the in the water. That's just a, a chore, if you ask me. Um, all right, we fought him already. Yes, that is the way that we could have gone. Um, yeah, there are kind of multiple ways you can go through this route, which is neat. Um, I'll support Karen with static. Oh, crap. Gosh dang it, man. I wanted that to be a double battle. Oh, but we're... We're living. We're living. That's not gonna kill us. Come on now. We're ten levels higher. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. She bought a new bikini. It's the newest model. Well, guess what? You're about to get owned, kiddo. Oh, maybe not, though. All right. <laughs> That's funny. All right. So we are continuing down this way. Um, as you can see, those rocks kind of open up there. I'm going to pop back over to fight that trainer that we missed. Um, so let's do that right quick. Back to Route 220. Oh, yes. Let me get my... Max Repel. Oof. We have tons of items. I'm probably going to want to sell some when we get to the Pokemon League. There we go. Item management is always a fun little thing. Um, I mean, I've said before, in other games, it's just, it's way worse. I mean, if you were here when we played Yellow just in generation one you just don't have any room in your bag at all um so it's just really annoying because i usually what i do when i play generation one is that i just box every single tm that i get um okay so yeah, if you go kind of like this little route through this channel, you skip a lot of those trainers, but you also skip a lot of those items. And we want to kind of explore every nook and cranny here of Sinnoh, which is why we are even making this little detour in our playthrough. Excuse me. It is funny. Because I brought in static to deal with some of these water types, but there we go. I was about to say, we have yet to face a challenge at all. Boom, baby. Nice. Yeah, the squad should get to around level 45. Everybody. By the time we finish up here. Ooh, another protein. I love that. Um, I'll hold on to that for now. Okay. Did we fight her? Hold on. Is there an area I'm not going to? Okay. Yep. I gotta fight that trainer. <laughs> we All the way down. And we'll keep static. There we go. One thing about water type Pokemon, there's a huge variety. I'll show you the water type Pokemon I chose and why I'm so proud of them. Oh, how sweet. Ooh, there's just one. A Golduck. That's very funny. She's like, water type has great variety. She chooses the pure water type Golduck. I mean, Golduck's great. Everybody loves Golduck. But nothing too special there, my friend. All right, so we got to backtrack a little. Oh, I guess my repel ran out without me realizing it. There we go. Um, okay. So we are just about finished with the water portion. I mean, this is... You've essentially seen all of the water that there is in the Sinnoh region at this point. Um, we'll begin with hot to go. 
Ah, but of course, as soon as we get to land, here's a fisherman who's still going to have some water types. We can one-shot these. Easy peasy. Yeah, getting this new move, Poison Jab, is great. Oh, this is actually a new move for Generation 4. I don't think I've talked about it yet. Um, it is just a really nice physical poison type move. I think it's 80 power. Um, I actually want to check it out. Yes, 80 power. Um, it can poison. It's just a really, really good, solid, kind of like later game attack. And of course, with the poison barb on our friend, um, hot to go, that thing's hitting pretty hard. But I'm actually going to save really quick. That's a lot of data. There we go. Um, I believe in this grass here you can catch Scyther, which we love. The Pure Incense. I genuinely don't remember what that does. Pure Incense. An item be held by a Pokemon. It helps keep wild Pokemon away is the whole, if the holder is the first one in the party. You know, I feel like in the past I have had items like that. And they just haven't really done that as well as I would like. Okay, I was about to say. Ooh, a Max Revive! Awesome! Alright. Ooh, it looks like we have some rare berries here as well. Because this is kind of like a later game area, and I'll explain that to you very shortly. Oh yes, that dry skin. Come on now. All right. Ah, oh, Lopany. Um. Oh, Hot to Go's great. Normal type. Let's keep hitting with the fighting moves. There it is. Lovely. Um. Uh, let me just feed them a super potion real quick. just so they're in a little bit better shape. All right, here's our Lepa Berry. Um, these Lepa Berries are always going to be important. They are the berries that can um, heal your power points. So those are super valuable just because, just because the power point um, reviving items are the only items that are not, um, excuse me, buyable. Like you cannot buy them at the Marts. Lovely. Ultra Ball, love to see it. Um, Alright, so... Oops. Perfect. Ooh, yes! So down here, south of Sand Gem Town, this is where you find the TM for X Scissor, baby! It is a really good new bug type move here in Gen 4. A specialty of a Pokemon like Scyther um, that can really use um, bug type stab um, on the physical side of things. And there's a Carbos. Lovely. Um, so we have this Ace Trainer here. We're going to take care of him. Even though we do have a Star Raptor, that could be scary. Okay, I was about to say. Especially if we miss Fire Blast, which we did. Um, Giraffe Rig is fine. We can hit that with our super effective Bite. I am shocked that did not kill it, if I'm being honest with you. Um, I guess Karen is not the best physical attacker, as we have described. Um, so we'll talk to those guys in a second. Um, I'm gonna pop over here first thing and fight this fella. Bye, Lolo. Oh, our friend Breakfast. It's good to see you. But it's also bad to see you because we had to kill you. Such is life in the Pokemon world. It's kill or be killed, man. Um, there's got to be an item over here somewhere, I would guess, back there. Yes. Ooh. 
Ah, big mushroom. You can just sell those. I think it's 2,500 bucks, which is still good. And here in this house, we have this old man. I saw it. Today's number is 90. Show me a Pokemon that's level 90. If you can, I'll reward you. It's very interesting. I actually don't remember what he gives you. So those of you in the comments, let everyone know what that old man gives you if you bring him a Pokemon of the level. But the reason for you to come down here, you have these guys. They say, Pal Park isn't open yet. We're still setting up. So this is Pal Park, a place for new beginnings. Um, we are not going to go here in our playthrough, but Pal Park was super important because it was how you imported Pokemon from the Generation 3 games, Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, into Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. Basically, you would import them from those games, and you would use Pal Park here. Um, and it was kind of like a little catching minigame where you would like catch your Pokemon that you imported from those other games, and that is how you brought them here into the Generation 4 games. Kind of like catching Pokemon in past games and moving them up into like the newest version has always been like such a thing for Pokemon, and they've always tried to find interesting ways to do that. So there's that. Um... And that's really what's at the end of this route. That's kind of like why you would come down here. We went down here for more of like a training sesh, but that's I. Right. Um, let me see. What is one other thing we can do? Let's. Let's go to Twin Leaf. So, we talked a little bit. Mm, I changed my mind. Guys, I changed my mind. Um, I am just a silly little rascal who is just changing his mind all the time. What can you do? I have no regrets. Um, but let's grab our pal Gilbert here while we're thinking about it. Oh, boy. Do not need to look at the map. Um, all right, so we do have Gilbert. Who are we going to deposit for now? How about uh, Magazone? Just for the moment. All right, so I am gonna heal the squad and then we are going to make our way back through that route that we were traversing earlier that had the waterfall at the end because now of course we have our friend barrel who can help us um get to the end let's pick up some four stores oh give us 15 to start here um full heals easy peasy yeah really i meant to stop here for some super repels um and we will sell. Um, I was saying how we were, we found those big mushrooms. You can sell them, yes, for 2,500 bucks a piece. So we'll sell that off. We have the Stardust here. Those are worth selling, which is great. Excuse me, do we have any nuggets? I feel like we have got some pearls, which is nice. Um, heart scale, ooh, star piece, we have eight. I'm gonna hold on to those. Because that would be a lot of money. Whoa, 39,000 Poké Dollars. I'm going to hold on to that investment. I'm going to hold. Oh, and we got an even 50 Super Repels. We are, we are looking pretty here. So let's hop up the way. And we will make our way to the Pokémon League. Um, so, there are some higher level wild Pokemon here as we've seen, but that one we just saw was at level 39. 
So we are still going to be able to, you know, just bypass some of them anyway. We do have to pop up here. All right. So now as we approach our destination here, it is interesting that in two straight regions, they make a big waterfall, kind of like the entrance to the Pokemon League. That's kind of, kind of whatever, kind of annoying. But we're about to get a nice new piece of music here, if I'm not mistaken. This is our Pokemon League music. Um, it is very not epic, but it is just peaceful. It's kind of like you've made it to the journey's end, and now it's time to rest for a second. It's time to hit pause, because things are about to get crazy. And I really like this piece of music for that. It's great. So, um, once it becomes nighttime, this changes a lot, and it kind of sounds more like a lullaby, um, more like a, uh, what's the word, music box vibe, kind of like a wind up, like an old timey like wind up music box, um, that track. We hope to see you again, she says. All right, so I'm gonna save. Oh, a lot of data once again. Excuse me. And we have hit the 30 hour mark in terms of in-game time. Um, as you can see, this little area here is Victory Road. I love this big cave entrance that Victory Road has in this game. Um, but we are going to be going into Victory Road. We're going to be doing that next episode. This is kind of a shorter episode for us here tonight. Um, I've really enjoyed kind of the chill conversational vibe of this episode, and we will be getting into more content-rich um, sodes here as we go along. Um, probably not until next week. And honestly, guys, I'm just uh, I'm just holding on to dear life to um, holding on for dear life to Pokemon Platinum because I just don't want it to end. I am really really loving this game, and don't worry, there's there will still be some stuff that we'll do in the post game. Um, but uh, you know, we have reached Victory Road. There's not much more to do. Um, I appreciate you all being here with me tonight. Thanks, Floctess, for stopping in. Um, I am so excited to keep going, uh, keep going with you, keep sharing my joy. Um, I encourage you all to share your joy in whatever it might be. Um, because, again, that is why I decided to start doing this because I wanted to just share the things that I like. And I appreciate you all for being here. And I'll keep saying that a million times because it remains true. And with that, have a great rest of your week. Have a great weekend. Have a great Thanksgiving if you celebrate. And I'll see you all next time, kids. Peace.